Hello everyone, uh, this will be a, a short testimony and uh, uh, teaching on something that I have discovered that I have been infected ever since the moment of my conversion even um, and I just want to thank uh, Doug Perry from FOTM1 for his videos about the Red Dragon I might not have a um, a good understanding as he does about what Red Dragon is but I definitely know how he can manipulate you to fight against it giving you a delusion of continuously having a job believing that you have a job of attacking this uh, this dragon so please if you haven't watched the first video on this topic please watch it otherwise you cannot understand what I'm talking about so uh, I, I would just like to um, tell you that I have been infected with this spirit um, for many years and uh, to a point that it can destroy your, your mind it can take over your mind it can take over your joy your peace and even your physical health um, I was never aware because it is very subtle and it uses a lot of biblical truth and I have been a true seeker of the truth and uh, the Lord has revealed it to me in my heart that I am a person to be used to demolish some sort of a doctrines that these dragons has done in the church he has showed it to me through the revelations i get in scriptures through the discernment of actually seeing these dragons operating um, through personal uh, desire for this in my heart and through prophets now even if the lord has given me this ability to see these dragons and to see their false doctrines the dragon has, because of, of my pride that I did not listen to God, that I cannot fight him in my own power. So God gave me this ability and these revelations and I need to listen to God and on his command to act in love and love them even if they mock me, love them even if they persecute me, love them even if they make fun of the truth. Still love them, you know. And this, this is what this demon does, you know, it, it makes it all about him and you have to find him and it doesn't make it about God anymore, you know. And it sort of got into me in layers, like uh, in the following videos, I will describe uh, different scenarios as um, I went along. Um, and I hope it's going to be much helpful for people who have this thing. Uh, usually people who have this thing are, are gifted in a way of a deeper understanding of scriptures. And uh, uh, the pride in them, okay, I'm not saying it's a demon of pride, the pride in the person, the, the soulish rebellion and disobedience towards God will lead to an infection with the anti-red dragon spirit, okay? So he will put a delusion on your head that all you need to do is focus on him and give you a machine gun and destroy all these people. So you cannot offer unconditional love to these people anymore. You cannot love them the way Christ loves them because now it's conditional. Now you have to check certain doctrines and only if they agree you can show them this sacrificial love and and this unconditional love. If they do not agree on certain things, you cannot show them. Now, a person with an anti-red dragon spirit can, uh, because they have a good Bible knowledge, they can be very uh, effective in preaching the gospel on the streets or anywhere else, uh, and even operating in signs and wonders. And they can show love to a new convert, because to them is like, Okay, I'm going to share my knowledge with them. And until they do, I have to offer them the milk of the gospel. 
you know. And then um, when they reach meat, if they do not, they will be kicked kicked out. So so the p people with an anti red dragon are able to show this unconditional love to new converts. Okay, but if the new converts don't mature quick enough, or 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 they still have some uh, doctrines of demons, the people with anti red dragon will kick them away. Okay, or will start being aggressive towards them. So this is uh, a few things that this uh, anti red dragon does: is it takes away the peace, the joy, it takes away faith in God, you know, trusting in God, it's like, uh, it makes you do th a lot of things in your own power. And uh, it, it really cripples you spiritually, you forget everything uh, good about these people. It is all about doctrine, right? It is all about, uh, it is all about doctrine. So, so it's, um, and it's, you're operating in hypocrisy as well, because no matter how much the knowledge you have, you still don't have the full doctrine yourself. No one does. No one has the full truth. Jesus says, I am the truth, the way and the life. So you are operating in, in your own power. You are operating in, in anxiety, lack of peace, confusion, uh, a lot of stress going on. Uh, you are not operating in love and you are also operating in hypocrisy. I used to use things like, well, love rejoices in the truth. To me, that meant, oh yeah, well, you don't love the true doctrine? Bye-bye. We are not to have fellowship with one another. And I would have fellowship, but there was not, I could not have love for these people. A person with an anti-red dragon, as God revealed it to me in the car yesterday, cannot have a loving fellowship with a person who is under a red dragon. Because if someone with a red dragon on top of them comes here and I have an anti-red dragon, I'm going to focus on their dragon and I'm not going to focus on who they are or the fact that we are brothers and sisters, the fact that we are connected spiritually because the person has the same Holy Spirit as I do. So, um, but if someone does not have the red dragon, I could... Um, I could love them, you see. I could give myself to them, sacrificial, agape, unconditional love to them. But now if these people with um, out a red dragon start fellowship, fellowship, because you see, they don't have a red dragon, but they also don't have an anti-red dragon like myself. So they can fellowship with me, who has an anti-red dragon, and they can also fellowship with people with the red dragon, okay? So me, I, I don't understand that. And it took uh, my young brother, uh, Robert from Croatia to, to kind of break me, you know, because I thank God for, for, for his boldness because it didn't come from him, it came from the Lord to correct me in the way of, of what is right. And, uh, you know, I used to think, wow, look at the balls on this kid, you know what I mean? I have brought him to the Lord. I, I didn't brought him. No one can come to Christ un, unless the Father brings him to him. But in a way, I am his spiritual father, like Paul says, you know, like I have given him the milk of the gospel, the teaching, supported him, go there, do this, do that, you know, which helped him in his growth. So now he comes in and he's telling me by the Spirit. And I see somehow in my spirit that He's supposed to love that person and I'm not able to love them because of certain doctrines. And it, it, it kind of brought me to a, a place of humility where God has revealed it to me and opened my eyes to it that I am infected and have been infected, heavily infected with the Spirit. He sort of got in in layers. He came in the beginning with, with a small whisper and it got bigger and bigger in me. You know, and... Um, it's like the more God revealed things to me from scriptures, the more this anti-red dragon spirit grew as well. It's horrible, horrible place to be in.
you know. And God has just revealed it to me. I'm sure that he, he's going to, it's just a matter of time until he's going to break me, until I start weeping uh, about this and he's going to set me free in a different dimension in the spirit where, in which I have never been before. It is like being born again for the second time, you know. So it's a, it's a great uh, uh, revelation that God has brought me. I, I don't know how long it's going to take un until I will be delivered. I know I am not delivered. I know I am not delivered, but at least I am aware that I am infected with this spirit. And this is not something that people can just come, no matter how much faith they have. This is between me, this spirit, my pride, and the Lord. Okay. And some people might be uh, efficient in delivering me a little bit, but it will take a lot of uh, humility on my part to get rid of this thing, you know, because I have to really let go of myself. Um, I will go through all my videos and uh, I just want to tell you that in all my videos that I have made, I had this anti-red dragon spirit inside of me. This anti-red dragon delusion that he has planted on my head. And you can see more about what I'm talking about in the first video. In the first part of this, of this uh, series. So, um, yeah, he has um, totally controlled me uh, in some of my videos, partially controlled me in other videos and in some videos that I made I was actually not being controlled by the spirit even though he was inside of me so I'm gonna go through all the videos and I want to apologize to everyone and I ask for your forgiveness and your mercy to forgive me for offending you in my videos and uh, for acting ungodly I was under a demonic uh, delusion and I'm going to review, I'm going to go again through all my videos. It's going to probably take a while. Uh, some of them I will probably delete completely. Some of them that I'm not sure of, I'll put them on private for now and just wait, sort of wait for the Lord to tell me what to do with them. Some of them, uh, I'm sure that the Lord wants me to, to leave. Some of them, I'm sure that the Lord wants me to redo, to redo them in the spirit of love with my words. Uh, seasoned with salt so that I can actually bless someone instead of um, shooting at them and they putting their shields so that that's what, that was it that's my history you know I, I kept shooting at them they're putting their shields up and it's exhausting <laughs> it, it, it's exhausting so yeah praise God for for this revelation and uh, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you will uh, watch the next uh, videos as well. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.